Bowing seven times in worship. Worship is an act of bowing by divine nature. Bowing down before another was an ancient tradition that showed reverence and surrender to someone in a superior position, Gen 23,7, Gen 43,28. However, Jacob bowed seven times to his brother Esau in Gen 33,3, and bowed himself to the ground seven times, until he came near to his brother. But why seven times? According to Hebrew tradition worship, they bowed seven times in prayer. PSA 119,164, seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. This entails bowing before God seven times a day. Historically, it is said that in the royal court of the pharaohs, kings of Egypt, the servants would bow down seven times to show their complete submission. However, Jacob understood the mystery of seven, that it is an angelic number linked to the seven archangels of God, who accomplish the divine completeness and finality of God on earth. Also, he bowed seven times because he wanted to be forgiven by Esau seven times and this forgiveness would be ruled in the courts of heaven by the council of heaven that works through the seven archangels. In other words when people utilize seven in their implementations, they are invoking the order of divine completion into their lives. Jacob having understood the angelic realm and numbers being tied to angelic services would explain why Jacob is the first and only human to physically touch an angel in the natural realm. Jacob bowing seven times seeking his brother's forgiveness seemed to be a tradition, and is confirmed by Peter's question to Jesus in Matthew 18:21. then Peter came and said to him, Lord, what number of times may my brother do wrong against me, and I give him forgiveness, till seven times. Interestingly, the number 7 in the Bible symbolizes completion, as we see in Genesis 2:2. It is not a mistake why Jacob's first wife brought forth seven children for Jacob, one Reuben, two Simeon, three Levi, four Judah, five Issachar, six Zebulun, seven Dinah, daughter.